as you said, I was a 20, um, 24 year veteran. I've been out for a year now. I retired as a Sergeant Major and uh, was an infantryman. And I, some days maybe I complain, but it was a great life. I got to do a lot of things other people did not get to do. And I uh, got to do some other not so great things. It's part of the life. And I, I will not say I did not want to do it or uh, that it was a bad thing. I still feel in my heart that I was doing something for America. And that's, that was a, an important piece there. Then I, as I was transitioning out, we started Harley's Treat, mainly because of the expense and ingredients and stuff that are out there in foods and treats. It was not up to my standards anyway. And I'm, it, I'm finding out that it's not up to a lot of people's standards. And while we started that, I was doing my transition out and found out that the VA is there, but like any other government agency, there's a lack of funds or whatever in order to be able to get to people in a timely manner. And with that, and it ended up being almost every one of our treats ends up for in the, the dog food will too. A certain part of that will be a donation to one of the many nonprofit organizations that benefit veterans. I take that just this weekend in Arizona, there was a memorial for a, a family friend and he took his life and he was a veteran, college graduate veteran, 25 years of age and took his life. So veteran suicide is a huge thing on uh, our plate. We try to do all we can to help agencies combat that. So giving back to veterans is it probably was not our original goal. It has quickly become a huge goal for Harley Street to us. So we're not out there to, to be millionaires. We are out there to give people an option for a healthy nutritional treat as well as dog food and giving back to the veteran community.